Hey bitches, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video, I am going to talk to you about Jeffree Star announcing his new collaboration with Morphe, and how he is being accused of being completely biased when it comes to the brand. If you have not already seen my video from yesterday about Jaclyn Hill coming for millennials on Twitter, as well as Jeffree Star in his latest mystery box drama, I am going to place a card in the upper right hand corner, as well as a link down in the description. If this is your first time on my channel, hello. Welcome. How the fuck are you doing? If you could please hit the subscribe button down below, I would greatly appreciate it. And if you are someone who has been here for a day, a week, a month, or a year, welcome the fuck back. If you could please make sure you have all of your notifications set to on by clicking the bell icon somewhere on the screen. Please know that everything I speak on in my videos is my own personal opinion. Opinions are not facts. I invite you guys to do the research for yourselves as well by watching other people's videos and coming back to the comment section so we can have a healthy adult conversation down below. Please do not send hate to anyone or any brand that I speak on in my videos because that is not what these videos are here for. They are just here for us to spill a little tea, throw a little shade, and have a messy ass time on the internet. Earlier this year, Jeffree Star was met with major criticism online because a lot of people had questions and concerns if he was going to review the Morphe Foundation launch. Jeffree Star ultimately made the decision to review the foundation and the concealer over on his Twitch live stream, which had a lot of people asking questions like, why aren't you doing a video in front of your good cameras? Obviously, the quality is not going to be as good on a live stream because of Wi-Fi issues and all of that. So why are you putting it on Twitch when also your subscriber base is on YouTube and not everyone wants to make a Twitch and not everyone is going to have time at 1.30 in the afternoon to go over and watch someone on Twitch, you know, because people have to work and so on. Another reason a lot of people were questioning if Jeffree Star was going to be 100% honest in his review is the fact that his products are sold at Morphe. So was it going to be a conflict of interest? And was he just going to say something nice because he didn't want to piss Linda off at the end of the day? But the one that was really driving it home for everyone was the fact that during this time that Jeffree was being questioned about his review for Morphe, if he was going to do it, why is it on Twitch, all this stuff, some pictures were being passed around the Twitter sphere of some collaborations that have been recorded for Jeffree Star and Morphe that are going to launch sometime this year. And by recorded, I mean registered, obviously, but if you guys don't know what I'm talking about, then a few years ago, 2016, I believe, there was a collaboration that was supposed to come out with Morphe for these pink chrome brushes that you're seeing on the screen right now. A lot of people were questioning and they were concerned as to why Morphe and Jeffree Star had never released these pink chrome brushes. A lot of people were speculating that it had something to do with Jaclyn Hill and when her and Jeffree were fighting, Jaclyn actually put the stop on it. But also a lot of people are saying that Jeffree Star's brand just took off so quick that he really just put these on hold until a later date. A lot of people are also curious as to why Jeffree Star has this amazing company, multi-million dollar company, and he's collabing with Morphe to create brushes when he in fact could just make brushes on his own. As the image of the upcoming collaborations or trademarks that have been registered from Morphe and Jeffree Star were being passed around the internet, almost anyone who retweeted it or had something to say about a possible collab with Morphe and Jeffree Star was being blocked by Jeffree himself. Which I mean, honestly, blocking people because they're talking about a possible collab with you and Morphe is a little fucking ridiculous. In my eyes, it just makes it seem like you really don't want that information out right now because you are about to do this Morphe review that you know you're getting a lot of heat for and a lot of people are now going to think that you're being a little bit more biased just because you actually have some work coming out with them in the future. Anyways, about a month after all of this drama has gone on with Jeffree Star and Morphe, Jeffree Star took to his Twitter to tweet out, at Morphe Brushes times Jeffree Star, all will be revealed tomorrow. Hashtag Morphe times Jeffree Star. Side note real quick, that image that they put on their tweets about this upcoming collab, it honestly is giving me like, old school AOL website. You know the website where you could get those like cutouts of like girls and they would all just be in like different outfits. They were like cartoons. That's what that is giving me. That's definitely not giving me a 2019 image for sure. So obviously Jeffree Star is confirming that there is going to be a Morphe and Jeffree Star collaboration, probably going to be dropped sometime in March, but you have to wait till tomorrow to figure out what it's exactly going to be. Now, a lot of people are complaining that if it's a palette, dear God, they don't fucking want it. There's just so much drama with the James palette, with the Jaclyn Hill vault. They don't want another Morphe palette. But a lot of people are saying that if it is in fact the pink chrome brushes, that they will be picking these up because they think that they're unique. They want to support Jeffrey. And obviously, who could not use any more brushes? Can I just be 100% honest and real with you guys right now? I don't understand what the hype is about these Morphe brushes. I've owned a set of them before. 
yeah, they were nice. But if you really do the research into them, then you realize that these brushes that they're saying are $200, you can get on AliExpress or any of those websites for about $10. So the markup is insane with Morphe. I just don't understand why people want to go and spend that much money on synthetic brushes. Do you guys get what I'm saying? But then again, Jeffree Star is all about the quality of the items that he puts out. So maybe these brushes, if it in fact is the Chrome brush set, maybe these will be different and they will be of a higher quality and caliber than what Morphe is normally putting out. Would you be excited if Jeffree Star came out with the collaboration of the pink chrome brushes with Morphe? Or would you be more excited if Jeffree Star came out with a collaboration with Morphe for maybe an eyeshadow palette or maybe a set of something? The drama that I am noticing the most under the comments of Trend Mood, Jeffree Star, and Morphe's announcement of this launch is quality control. One person said, Ugh, I don't understand why he associates with Morphe. If he's about quality, Morphe ain't it. Another person said, I'm excited, I'll buy whatever his name is on. You know it will be good quality even if it's Morphe. He's behind it. Honestly feel he has some kind of share in the company. A lot of people are beginning to speculate if Jeffree Star in fact does own some portion of Morphe, which would not be so far-fetched because if you remember, Jeffree did not want to sell his makeup in any stores, but all of a sudden started popping up into all of the Morphe's. He also was going to a lot of Morphe store openings. And then of course, you know, writing so hard for basically everyone that Morphe collaborates with, as well as never really wanting to touch a Morphe product to review in a video. Probably so he doesn't give any bad press or anything to Morphe. All right, the time has come for me to give you guys some real talk and give you guys my 100% honest opinion about this whole Morphe Foundation review. Was he biased? Was he not? Was it honest? Was there a reason that he didn't do it on YouTube? And my thinking is this. And please remember that this is my own personal opinion. Please leave your opinion down below because I would love to hear your thoughts on the situation. But I think 100% Jeffree Star was never planning to review the Morphe Foundation and Concealer. I think it started to become such a hot topic on the internet because of Manny's review on it. And people started to wonder, you know, like Manny's really in close with Morphe, but so is Jeffree because his products are sold there. So is Jeffree even going to touch it or is he going to say this is Jeffree Star approved? And I think you guys should all get it. Even though he does not have a code with them. There is no doubt in my mind that Jeffree Star is a smart businessman. He's a genius when it comes to business. So yes, his products are sold at Morphe store locations, but I also think that Jeffree Star in some way owns shares or a portion of Morphe. Which is why I always 100% question if Jeffree Star is ever going to review a new product from Morphe, like the Jaclyn Hill Vault, the James Charles palette, even their foundation and their concealer. Because he's not going to want to give any kind of negative review or negative press to a brand that he owns shares in. And a lot of people would argue that and say, well, if that's the case, and Jeffree Star does own shares in this company, hypothetically, then why is it that Manny MUA is still an affiliate and Manny MUA is still promoting their products and getting a code and all of that kind of stuff from them. And that's because Jeffree Star only cares about one bag in this world, in my opinion, and that bag is the one that's lining his pockets. And of course, Manny MUA is still bringing in a ton of money over on Morphe, otherwise he would have been dropped a long ass time ago. And why stop a paycheck? Just because someone has a code that you don't like. Keep that money going, girl. Anyways, back to Jeffree Star's Morphe Foundation and Concealer Review. I always thought that there is a reason Jeffree Star is not doing this video on his channel for millions of people to see. He knows not everyone is over there on Twitch. He knows the time of day that he did this live stream, which was in the middle of the afternoon. A lot of people are at work. They're not going to be able to see this. Yes, he did leave it up, but he's not going to have to deal with the questions and concern at that time being. So he does it over on Twitch where one, everyone knows he's not sitting in front of those 4K cameras. He's doing it in front of whatever webcam or streaming service that he has there. Yes, the quality is good, but it's not as good as it's going to be in an edited video. And then, on top of doing it over there on Twitch, Jeffrey did not give it a Jeffree Star approved, or did not say that it was not Jeffree Star approved on that stream. So unless you were following Jeffrey on his Instagram or on his Snapchat, then you would not know that he gave his final thoughts on it. What I am trying to get out with all of this rambling and this tangent that I have been going on is that I still 100% believe, and this is my opinion, that Jeffree Star gave the biased review to the Morphe Foundation and the concealer and didn't want to do it because he knew that he had this collab coming out with Morphe. 
But I guess business is business and Jeffree Star was just trying to play it smart. So what is your opinion on Jeffree Star having this collab with Morphe? Are you excited if it's the chrome brushes? Are you excited if it's a palette? Is it something you're just going to pass on altogether? And do you think now that Jeffree Star has finally confirmed and announced that there is going to be a collab with Morphe, do you think that his Morphe review was honest? Do you think it was biased? Do you think he just wanted to do it on Twitch because he was trying to do something completely different? Let me know your thoughts down below and that is it for this video you guys. I hope that you enjoyed it please follow all of my social media down in the description and i love you guys and i'll see you guys in the next one bye